How's it going guys, RXXC here, and finally, finally, I have finally received the Maximus Dragonoid, and I'm here to unbox it for you guys. So I'm going to roll the intro, and we're going to knock this thing out. Let's check it out. Alright guys, we're back, and like I said, finally, we have the Maximus Dragonoid, and just, uh... Just to say it, this thing is a lot bigger than I originally thought it was. I got I say this every time I compare something. I have pretty big hands. Uh, but this thing, I mean, he, he's massive. I thought he was going to be like a good two inches smaller than this. Um, but of course, in here, we have... What do you do? Oh, you press his little thing. But there you go. Uh, he makes noises. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm here for this thing. <laughs> this is just gonna go on my shelf over there and be pretty cool but uh, the packaging is pretty insane you get Maximus Dragonoid up here on the side make sure you can see everything the box is huge I can barely fit it in the camera here but um, he has his two forms down here which I'll try to show off uh, ooh, that's actually really cool the side of the box has a full art like version of his art which is actually really neat on the other side same thing probably yeah so uh, bottoms just random stuff and on the back, we have a pretty detailed uh, image of him here, uh, which, yeah, I mean, the colors are pretty much right. Normally, they get those mixed up on the Bakugan, but I guess we could assume that that would be right. And if you notice on here, they have the international languages and stuff. That's because on purpose, I got this as the international version. Um, this is actually going to come with three of the cards, which is really important. And we'll talk about that later. Uh, so I'm going to bust this guy open and I'll see you then. Alright, so I'm midway through unboxing this thing, and obviously he's going to be tied down, but holy crap, guys, <laughs> there's a lot of these little ties that I'm going to have to go through and cut. That's actually pretty annoying, but uh, we're still working on it, so. Alright, we're back, and I haven't really done anything to it, I just kind of took it out of the box, and that took a while, getting all those little twist ties and stuff out is actually pretty insane. Um, but we're finally here, okay? Um, so, I guess I'm going to open this up. Because uh, I'm assuming it's going to have like some kind of instruction manual in it because I don't really know how to do the Transforming thing, but this also has the important part I'm going to be gentle because The cards are in here. So This is Titan Dragonoid, which is going to go with this. I'm gonna show him off here in a little bit um, But it's a Titan Dragonoid character card. So there's no evolution before this or anything like that this is what you start out with so it's a pretty cool look at that hollow that hollow is actually really insane uh this is our first and only uh for for now anyway holographic character card and again ooh, hold on i don't want to show that off too quickly um i did get three of each so it's gonna be kind of weird that i have three character cards but this is the international version so when i look at my dragonoid maximus here which is awesome such a cool card. They did they did such good work on the design here. The lightning is like holographic and everything. And oh my god, this thing is gorgeous. Um, but uh, this one is not the English one. <laughs> Let me try to find the English one first. Okay, here we go. So uh, now we can actually read this. Maybe my my uh, other friends can read that, but I can't. Anyway, so the English version. So it's Dragonoid Maximus. It's a ten cost. It's 2,500 B power, which is a lot. 10 attack, which is okay, but won't really matter because if you read this first line here, if you control Dan, Winton, and Leah, you win the game. So if they are on the board, on your side, and you play this card, you win the game. Or if this is already out there and you play the cards, whatever, you get the point. Um, this is Bakugan's Exodia. So like we did in our live stream, hashtag Bakuzodia, hashtag Dragonoid Maximus Obliterate. <laughs> so, really cool. These cards are gorgeous. Uh, I'm trying to give you a really good look at them. Let's put them side by side so you can actually see um, the hollow together because they really are cool. So, again, if you don't know about this thing already, Titan Dragonoid is now going to evolve into Dragonoid Maximus. And these hollows are insane, guys. So, uh, that's half of the reason why I'm here is for this. Because I do get a playset of this now. Um, I'm going to put the ruling up here. Um, Bailey from the Baku Nerds actually got some info at AX about this. And so basically, as long as your cards aren't the Japanese version, aka the Takaratomi version, 
Um, you can mix and match your cards as long as you, you know, can translate them. But, I mean, if you're having, like, three of these, obviously you're going to be able to have the English one to uh, show you. I don't even know what these other languages are at all. So, um, I don't know. You, maybe you can tell me. But there they all are. But this is now a play set because, obviously, our play set is three. And um, I only had to buy one Dragonoid Maximus. So, this was on Amazon. I don't know if it's still there. It should be. Uh, but you should be able to go and order this off Amazon, which is the international version, so you can get a play set. I don't know if they did it on purpose, um, but uh, I feel like Bakugan was actually kind of looking out for us on this thing here. Because you were about to have to spend uh, a lot of money to get a play set. So, thank you Bakugan for changing the ruling, or at least clarifying the ruling, so that we can play all of these. Alright, so those are out of the way. Let's go ahead and look at what's left in the package here. Um, and it looks like a pretty detailed instruction. So, uh, this is the Spin Master uh, customer care number. Um, I've heard they've had problems, so uh, I don't know what to tell you about that, but there it is. If you have problems, maybe call them. Uh, anyway, so, this is the instruction booklet. Or, it's more like a little pamphlet on how to do this guy. Uh, so, uh, he is kind of like a little bit of a transformer. Um, he has these wings that are apart from him, which I guess I can put on there now. Uh, they just kind of stick on, it looks like. So, yeah, definitely just stick on here. So they're on the back here. Uh, you can stick them on there, maybe? So they just go on there. Oop, yep, yeah, that felt really almost breakable. Anyway, um, get the other one on there. And there he is. And, oh, they, like, move. It's like a bat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> this is the first time I feel like I'm actually just playing with toys on my channel, so uh, I have now accepted the toy channel branding. Um, but here we go. So, um, opposable parts and stuff, his arms kind of move uh, up and down. He's got these huge feet. They are massive. Like, yeah, <laughs> they do look like chicken feet. Um, his tail moves up and down. This thing kind of moves like that. Uh, I think that's part of the transformation, actually. Uh, this neck piece kind of hangs out around a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of weird. Uh, his horn does move. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Hyper Dragonoid, the, the little one. Uh, his mouth goes up and down. It actually stays closed if you close it, I think. Yeah. So that's pretty cool um, for putting them on shelves and stuff. His arms flail out like that and they stay there. I don't know if I like that or not. I'd like them to kind of fall down, but anyway. And you can't rotate them either. So he's kind of stuck T-posing like this. So this is pretty much what you're going to get when you get him here. That's kind of his only pose. So uh, let's try to put it back up in its little thing. So let's see. Take the wings off? No, I think you leave the wings on. Okay, so roll his wing up. Then this kind of goes inside of himself. Is that really how that happens? Oh god. All right. All right, I might have to cut here, <laughs> and uh, or maybe time lapse it or something. I don't know, but we're gonna have to figure this out. So, let's see. Okay, it's literally been 15 minutes. His head. His head is the only <laughs> thing that is staying, okay? Um, all right, I'm gonna show you what I believe is supposed to happen. If I'm doing it wrong, someone tell me. But we've tried everything. You take these arms and you fold them in and what they're supposed to do, what they're supposed to do is latch onto this, okay? There's a little hole in there. These, uh, the, this, this is supposed to latch into this little hole, okay? So, you do it, you, you, you get them back there, and then you fold it, and then, okay, cool. So, I do this, and it, this just latches onto the feet. These are easy, okay? So, I do that, boom, done. Then, I take the tail, and I do that, and I, and I, I latch it in there. And that's supposed to be what it looks like, because I've seen it and, it, and it worked on the TV, but that's not how it works, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is do the thing 
while holding it. And if if memory serves me correctly, Fang Shaman had this problem. No. Um, but basically, it's not. <gasps> oh no no no! <laughs> I thought I had it, man. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me put it back together. Okay. Um, maybe mine's just defective. I don't know. I mean, honestly, this thing is going to be open on my shelf, so I don't care whatsoever if this doesn't work. Um, but I don't want little kids to be mad uh, when they buy this thing off the shelves. So, okay, you hold it down. And what's going to happen is, as soon as I drop this, you're going to let go, and we're going to get the right what it's supposed to do. Okay, so the point is, is you drop this Titan Dragonoid, which I'm about to show you now that it's about to open. And you drop it on this little sphere here, and that unlocks the whole thing. It's supposed to jump up, and it makes a bunch of noise. So... Uh, we are going to so let make go that as happen. As yeah, I'm going to drop it and you're going to let go. When it hits, I need to let go. Mm, yep. So, okay. three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> his head is stuck. How do I get his head out? Oh, wait. Okay. How do I get the head out? Can we break it? I don't think so. Uh, technical difficulties. Okay, so uh, we're back. This thing is, oh, it looks really cool, guys, and it's honestly pretty neat to look at. Um, I like it. Uh, it does this. It roars at you. Um, if you hit this little button. But as a transforming toy, uh, one out of ten. <laughs> It doesn't work, um, but honestly, what I'm here for is this bad boy. So, this is the Titan Dragonoid figure, and uh, he is his own mold. He doesn't mimic any other Dragonoid, uh, and he is his own character. So now, we can actually run a full Dragonoid team if you really want to. Uh, not that you'd actually play this in anything but the deck that makes it do what it wants to do. Oh, we also didn't look at the cores. Uh, Shield-wise, 300B. And a 150 plus two. So the two best uh, cores of the type. Um, but uh, that's what he comes with. And this is what he does when he rolls. And he opens up. So, uh, and he actually stands up like that on the core, which is pretty cool. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna fall forward like that. That's kind of how that, that's how they kind of presented him at like some of the toy fairs and stuff. So I'm glad they actually got him to work correctly. Uh, and you can do this apparently and miss the horn when you fold them up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> that's not good. This whole thing, man. <laughs> uh, okay, his horn like goes in this little pocket right here. That's actually pretty cool designing. Uh, goes in there, holds it down. We'll do wings. Get him in there. Tail. And there you go. Give him one more little roll here. Jacuzzo. Nope. R triple X C. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. That was bad. There we go. Oop. He's broken. He's not broken. His horn's just not sticking out of the thing. It worked earlier. I'm probably folding him up wrong. Uh, oh, and he's got the little dragonoid uh, green thing there. So, anyway guys. Look, that <laughs> this this is going up on the shelf and I'm probably never going to touch it again, to be honest with you. Uh, but, and <laughs> Oh god. Okay, that's probably why. It's like, it's like a big red mean Furby. Anyway. Um... That is it. So we were here for these. We got them. Uh, I'm glad we got them. And I'm here for this boy too. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite sculpts of a Bakugan yet. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, it looks like it's really uh, geared for some, uh, for some customization. But that's an expensive customization. So I won't be partaking in that. Um, but if someone wants to have their hand at that. This thing has got a lot of like details in the sculpt that would be really cool for that so anyway guys thanks for watching haven't done an unboxing in a while but i got another one tomorrow coming at you um it's going to be some really rare rare bakugan um from japan uh that deal with the new series so uh you're gonna want to stick around to see that it's gonna be really cool and really interesting uh and i got the package sitting right here i'm about to film it so i will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe leave a comment on what you think about this thing and tell me what i did wrong please someone tell me how to do this thing uh it it didn't work as you could tell so thank you guys and we'll see you tomorrow bye